his mother told me very early in, in his uh, career at Ignatius that Peter was actually born prematurely. I brought him home and I ha held him in the palm of my hand and we used to feed him with an eyedropper of uh, formula. So it's, uh, he came a long way from there. <laughs> the only effects he had of that was uh, a heart um, symptom called tachycardia. When you say that there's a weakness of the heart and then you watch this young man compete and you watch this young man uh, run the ball and everything, you say, you know, he has a bigger heart than anybody because of the way he would play. When he was a freshman and it was their first game and he was the tailback and it was the very first offensive play that they had and I think that they handed him the ball and he went 60 yards for a touchdown on, on his very first play. Pete was a, a leader on the offense. He was a tailback. Um, he was, you know, quote unquote undersized at 5'9", 180 pounds, whatever he lists himself as. He was a big part of the team, um, the heart of the team. Um, if you needed a, a yard, even though he might have been perceived as undersized, he always got it. He always made the extra yard or two to continue on. Pete was a complete running back. He was tough as nails. He was probably the toughest guy on our teams, and, and, and I mean that sincerely. Pete was one of those running backs that had the rare ability to always fall forward, in my opinion. Again, I don't remember an instance in four years where he ever got knocked backwards. An excellent pass catcher, too. He had great hands. He caught a ton of balls. Pete did everything great as a running back. He really was a complete player, a great luxury to have as a quarterback, uh, and a great luxury to have on an offense. State champions, 1988 and 1989. The first time ever we had been in the playoffs was 1988, and then we ran the table uh, to win the whole thing and did it again, uh, wire to wire. And so th that was an exciting, exciting thing. Pete was a two-time, most valuable running back, you know, and that's voted on by his peers. And we had a lot of fun, we had a lot of camaraderie, and that's what sticks out to me. We certainly had a lot of special moments in games, but we had a lot of fun together. We really got along well, whether you were a starter or you were a backup. We had just this terrific camaraderie and togetherness as a group, which I've never seen before. The idea of his part in the legacy at St. Ignatius High School, you know, he left Ignatius as the all-time leading rusher. And when I think back about that and I sit in those meetings and I hear all of the names of all of the running backs, and there certainly have been some great running backs that have come after him, some of the greatest we've ever had. Uh, but to put your name in that conversation at a high school that was founded in 1886 is a pretty special accomplishment. Obviously he was good at football, uh, but he's a better person. You know, I think, uh, you know, when I look at or think about Pete, you know, from his competitiveness to being loyal, um, he's compassionate, he's inclusive, you know, he, he you know, he is the party at times, you know, he likes, you know, uh, to get people involved and in, in together. And I think that, you know, growing up with him, uh, that hasn't ever changed. He has a very giving spirit, is the, the best way to describe him. He is the kind of person that he can convince you to be on his team because he knows that he and whatever person will be better together because of it. In everything that he does, his work, his family, you know, he, he is always thinking about other people. Many times in work, he's had some really serious decisions to have to make, and he always reaches out to people to help him make that right moral or ethical decision. I think he's a great role model for, for kids, um, just being inclusive and and wanting people to be around and being compassionate for people that may have something different than, than what we had, which was a great upbringing.